how old were you when you found out that your grandfather was really your father? I was about 10 when I found out, but it wasn't real facts. Like I didn't really have facts. Uh, yeah. It was in the air saying that was my grandfather. The people in the family were saying that was my dad. You know, I mean, close kin, his brother, uh, my grandmother, you know, sisters, everybody was, it just was the talk of the family everywhere I go. Um, I didn't get real fat until I was an adult. Uh, my mom wound up having a, a baby in the state uh, hospital. So she had to go through this trauma twice. Somebody was molesting her in state custody and she she wound up getting pregnant and they needed some blood work. And my family didn't know that's what I was doing, actually taking a DNA with my mom because they wouldn't do it with me. Uh, my aunts or my uncles didn't want to get involved. They didn't want to do it. So I wound up taking the DNA with my mom and it became 1% that I'm my mom's daughter and 98 per nine i'm her sibling and that mean we have the same father wow and so that's Sorry. when i really told the family and i came really out with the story and they really couldn't say nothing at that point because i had facts you know and when you girl when you found that out what mental state were you in like where, where were you in your life at that point at that point, I was going through um, a lot of depression. Uh, I was, I had just had my second child, um, and my mom was pregnant along with me. My brother and my daughter is three weeks apart. So it was a lot for me to take in, but then I held it in for years. All I kept telling my family, like, just to tell me the truth. And um, they wouldn't tell me the truth, so I didn't... I didn't bring out the, the DNA weapon mm -hmm. until I want to say around 2019. Um, and then I wind up saying, I'm just going to, I'm going to let it all out at this point. And my grandmother was real sick. I had stopped speaking to her for about two years. Um, only because I didn't want her to take sides. Her daughters was against me. And, um, I got tired of, you know, going backwards and forward, trying to prove a point. And I knew the truth and everybody still was denying and, and lying. Yeah. And she wound up calling me one day and um, I came to visit her. I was staying in Florida and she wound up telling me that she didn't have the courage to go. And she told me she was not mad at me um, from speaking out. She just didn't have the voice. She just felt like I was strong stronger than her and um three three weeks later my grandmother caught a stroke after she gave me her blessings and told me you know and i knew my grandmother had a bad a bad life because i grew up in the same house with her and my grandfather so i knew what my grandfather brought my grandmother through mentally and emotionally you know so she did the best that she knew you know coming from those days so i never held anything against her um in that matter um so on to my adult life my kids at that point thought my mom was not living because i never told them about my mom uh they thought my mom was actually deceased 